Back up. That. Glass. That's summer in a glass, though. <laughs> Hello, hello. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Rich Woods, AKA The Cocktail Guy. It's been a minute. In fact, it's been about two years since I last did a video. For those of you who haven't tuned in before, I thought I would restart my YouTube series of videos. For those of you who have seen my videos before, um, I do like to focus on a lot of techers or a lot of techniques and some home hack ingredients, but I thought I would restart the channel focusing on foraged ingredients. So in today's video, I was going to focus on the glorious and in-season big leaf. This is what they look like. They are super veiny on the reverse. These beautiful leaves are great and super flavorful. And today we're going to be using them in three cocktails. But as a bonus feature, I thought I would show you guys how to reuse these leaves once we have infused them to make completely sustainable garnishes in the form of a dehydrated powder, fig leaf oil, and also some bubble glass. Okay guys, so the first drink we're making is a Collins. Now I wanted to make this drink all inclusive, so I've decided to infuse the fig leaves into a syrup. Here it is here. Um, because we're not infusing them into spirit, and spirit is great for extracting flavor, we're gonna be using heat. So for the syrup, I'm gonna be using a water bath. Uh, we're gonna be sous videing the fig leaves with some water, and then we're gonna be removing the fig leaves and then using the water with sugar and make a really intense flavored fig leaf syrup. We're not gonna throw the fig leaf away though. We are gonna use the fig leaf, we're gonna dehydrate it, and we're gonna make it into a powder for the garnish, as well as a beautiful bubble glass. So for this drink, we're going to be taking our highball or Collins glass. The first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to dampen the outside of the glass wherever you want to add your dust. I've just used sugar syrup. And then we're going to take our dehydrated fig leaf dust. We're just going to dust on the side of the glass. So we're going to start with our cocktail. Oh, that was a nice sound. Oh, I like that. Okay, so 45 mils of our vodka, 45 mils or one and a half ounces. Next, we're gonna be adding some citrus juice. Lemon is what I'm going for. About 20 mils, so just under an ounce. And then our beautiful fig leaf syrup. I'm gonna go for 25 mils ice. And then our sparkling water. Give it a little bit of a mix. And top it with some fresh ice. There you have it. And then our final garnish is our absolutely beautiful bubble glass. And we're just gonna break off a little bit here. Okay, let's first talk about making the bubble glass. Once we ground the leaves into a powder, we're going to add glucose syrup to a beaker, throw in our fig leaf powder and mix until it looks like this. Spread the mixture onto a silicone baking sheet and place in a preheated oven set at 130 degrees C and cook for 35 to 40 minutes and watch it bubble. Once cooked, remove from the oven and allow to cool. And there we have uh, absolutely stunning fig leaf Collins. Look at that. Love that glass. Glass. Beautiful. That's a crushable drink. That's summer in a glass, that is. There you go, guys. Fig leaf Collins. Cheers. Okay guys, so drink number two, we're gonna be making a fig leaf Vespa. Now this is a stirred down, straight up cocktail. We're gonna be infusing our fig leaves into vodka and lile, some aromatized wine. We're gonna be employing the same technique as we did in the first drink, which is sous vide. We're gonna be cooking at 55 degrees for 45 minutes. And the reason I'm sous videing, rather than just leaving it to infuse at room temperature, is that I wanna extract the most amount of flavor from those fig leaves. So the process is exactly the same as the first drink. We're gonna vacuum seal those bags, we're gonna drop them in a water bath, preset at 55 degrees. We're gonna remove the leaves and we're gonna leave them to dehydrate just like the first drink. Only this time for the second drink, we're gonna be making a super delicious fig leaf oil. Now, all we've done to make this is we've used our dehydrated leaves. I've used three leaves, 100 milliliters of neutral oil. I've used sunflower oil, blitz for two minutes and allow to drip through some kitchen cloth. 
rich in color and absolutely delicious. And that's gonna dress the top of the drink. So for the cocktail, we're gonna start with our base, which is gin. We're gonna be adding one and a half ounces of 45 mils. Our fig leaf infused vodka. We're gonna be adding 30 mils or one ounce and our fig leaf infused lily. And we're gonna be adding 20 mils, just under an ounce, three quarters of an ounce approximately. And then we're gonna stir this down. And then we're gonna garnish with that beautiful fig leaf oil just on top. Oh, beautiful. That looks stunning. Taste test. Oh, that's delicious. It's a spirit forward boozy Vespa without a doubt, but you get those really nice subtle notes of coconut, green walnut, a little bit of vanilla. It's delicious. And that fig oil is so aromatic. It's great. There we go, guys. Bigly Fesper. Okay, guys, so drink number three. We're gonna make it an old fashioned. Now we've already done some sous vide in. So this time I thought we would just do a simple infusion. Now this takes a little bit longer, but it doesn't require as much technique. So what we're gonna take is a mason jar. If you don't have any and you have a, a non-reactive takeaway container that's clean, it's absolutely fine. All we're gonna do is take a, a fig leaf. Now, if it's small, you can use a couple of fig leaves. If it's a large fig leaf, just use one. The infusion time is entirely up to you, but I find that generally overnight, anything over 12 hours is absolutely fine. We're gonna take one fig leaf, scrunch it up, and drop it in your non-reactive container or your mason jar. And then we're gonna add our bourbon, uh, 350 mils. This is exactly 350 mils. So I'm just gonna pour that over. And then it is as simple as seal the mason jar and leave it to one side. Try it after 12 hours the next morning, possibly not the next morning, the next afternoon, give it a try. If it's not quite where you think it would like to be in terms of flavor, give it a few more hours. Otherwise, take the leaf out, leave it to drip, and then add it to dehydrator. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna make the garnish from the leftover leaf. And then you've got a beautiful fig leaf bourbon. And here is the final product. This is something I made yesterday. Uh, this is half a bottle that I used and I infuse it with one fig leaf and it is absolutely rich. As I said before, it, they've got the green walnut flavor, that fresh green coconut flavor, a little bit of vanilla and some peat is absolutely delicious. And we're gonna make it old fashioned with this. So for the drink, we're gonna start with our infused bourbon. I'm gonna be adding 60 mils, two ounces. There we go. And then I'm gonna be adding a little bit of what I call secret sauce. Um, which is a funny name because I'm just going to tell you what it is. It's basically a salted caramel syrup uh, made with burnt sugar, some salt, uh, a little bit of alcohol and some water. Uh, we're going to be adding two bar spoons. Uh, so this is approximately five mils. And that kind of really bolsters the bitterness, the burnt flavors, the caramel notes, which bolster the bourbon, the dark spirits, but also the fig leaf. And then I'm going to add a little bit of our homemade cherry syrup. Now this is bourbon that's just been infused with cherries, left 48 hours, drained off the bourbon, added sugar in equal parts, mixed it and then infused it back in a jar with the cherries and we're gonna be adding two bar spoons, again, five mils. And we're gonna use the cherries as a garnish as well. Give it a bit of a mix, add some ice. Chilling and diluting, super important. We've got a nice lock of ice. Uh, and then lastly, we're gonna garnish. So we've got a nice little pre-cut fig leaf, a nice little cherry. And then lastly, 
this absolutely delicious garnish, which is basically the leftover fig leaves that we've dehydrated. We've blitzed through the spice grinder, adding it to raspberry puree, potato starch, isomalt, and glucose syrup. Mix them all together over a medium heat until thick and smooth, then allow to cool. Add your mix to a leaf stencil and spread a thin, even layer before gently removing the stencil and place them in a preheated oven set at 110 degrees centigrade and cook for 55 minutes. Remove from the oven and while still warm, gently lift the leaves and press in your leaf mold. Here we go. There we have it guys. Right, let's give it a go. That looks absolutely delicious. Oh my God, that is insanely quaffable, which is something that should not be described when talking about an old fashioned. Let's try this leaf. Oh. So good. The raspberry, the fruitiness of the berries, you get the fig leaf, it's crunchy, it's delicious, it reuses the fig leaf, there's no waste. It's great. And it tastes great when you sip in the old fashioned. There we go guys, drink number three, the fig leaf old fashioned. Cheers. I do hope you've enjoyed the new series focusing on forage cocktails. If you have, if you have any comments, please do not forget to drop the comments below. Don't forget, to, of course, to like and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video where we'll be focusing on lavender.